All right, folks, welcome to what could be a vlog. Uh, it depends what sort of footage I get, and I'm just going to crudely edit it on um, iMovie on my phone. So, I'm having a little bit of a trip to a farm shop called Windy Arbor, and yes, got the double chin there. And um, the only thing is, it's not that far away, but because I choose not to drive, even, well, even if I did, I'd be fucking terrified. Um, it's a bit of a ball ache to get, and I know the way I'm going isn't probably the most efficient, but as you can see by the double chin, which isn't really helped by, oh, that's not made any difference. Um, as you can tell by my robust exterior, um, I could do with a little bit of a walk, and I think there's, Google Maps says about 33 minute walk from the train station, but it never takes that long. Um, I've found and uh, my good friend Adam told me that the road could be a bit dodgy so uh, we shall see so um, ridiculously early at the train station and um, it's like a four minute train ride to where I'm going to so I probably could have even got there a bit more efficiently but I don't know I'm doing this because it sort of reminds me of when I was living back in Germany um, because when I'd had loads of time to myself I'd get on my bicycle and go around the city I was living in going to like residential places that you know you wouldn't usually go to and um, bringing it back to the beer stuff which I'll tell you what this trip is for um, I used to go to like all the like beer supermarket places around the city and um yeah, got me active and it fueled my alcoholism. So the reason why I'm making a trip today, uh, and it's the rare chance that I can actually go there because I usually work weekends and I think they're closed on Sundays, is they've got like a um, like boxes at the front of, I'm guessing close date or post, um, best before date, of um, beers where you can get four for £10. And there was some pretty damn good stuff in there. Now, that was a couple of days ago, so I'm under no illusions that I won't get the cream of the crop, even if there's stuff still there. But we shall see. And then I'll pick up a few other bits and bobs, because it's quite an extensive bottle shop, really. Um, so, yeah, I just thought I'd document the journey, get some content on the channel. Um, even if this doesn't come full blog, I'll just put all the stuff together, and I'll probably just show you what I've got at the end anyway. Um, but yeah, so we shall see. So this has killed some time, waiting for the train. I'm gonna nip up, have a cig, and uh, yeah, we'll see what today brings. Apologies for the uh, under double chin shot um, just on the walk it's pretty much down a straight road as I said earlier and uh, didn't get any footage of the train journey maybe because it was only a couple of minutes plus there was quite a few people so yeah so So I'll see you when I get there. That was um, Winstanley College, as you just saw there. That was um, a college that all the really clever kids, all rich kids, went to. So I'd fuck all chance of going there. And apologies for the um, traffic noise, but it is what it is. I'm a bit out of practice. And, um, yeah, I've got done as well outside for ages. So a little bit self-conscious, especially in such a well-to-do area when I'm a, a ruffian from Skelmersdale. But um, yeah, it's actually not too bad of a walk. There was a little bit of a, a hill, but it seems to have straightened out. Although it looks like the actual road itself, the path itself, might be coming to an end. But uh, we shall see. And uh, hopefully we can get some form of entertaining, coherent video together. Whew. 
really nice area though very nice indeed So I've just come out of the farm shop. I didn't want to get my camera out because it was um, it's quite small inside, nice and quaint, and it was it was packed. Um, bit of a bust because, and I knew it would be. The four for uh, ten pounds was still on, but the own the only beer they had, and there was loads of it, was. Um, a table beer from track so I thought eh, we'll swerve that but I did pick up some nice stuff uh, which I'll show you when I get back I'd say it was a good haul for what I paid because I threw in a little a few other things from the uh, farm shop as well which I will show um, but yeah lovely little place and do you know what not that much for pain in the arse to get to see I was worried that me doing it this way was just like absolutely pointless but no got some beers and uh, yeah I'll probably just film a little bit when we when I get back because there's really not much to show that I've already not already shown and plus it's getting busy now on the road so hopefully you can hear me and uh, hopefully you didn't hear me breathing heavy when I was getting some shots of like the scenery and stuff. But yeah, so that's a, a nice little walk back. Get on the train and uh, I'll show you what I've got. So I'm back. Um, a relatively easy journey to and from. Train was about five minutes. Um, or the train was due about five minutes to spur, so I didn't have to wait an hour. Um, and yeah, the walk wasn't too bad. It's took it out of me though, because I'm massively overweight. And I've just found out that we're going to be going to Booth's a little bit later on. So there'll be a few more beers picked up from everyone's favourite Tory supermarket. So, as I said, quickly show you the stuff that I've got. Don't want to keep up too much of your time. And yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with my haul. Like I said, there was just track table beers in that offer, but when some of the beers that they had, like that Imperial Stout from Beak was part of that offer and like it's really good stuff. So it's, it's not surprising um, that they would all get sucked up. And it's great to see that in a place like that, um, the beer selection would be popular and profitable enough for them to justify having a little bottle shop so you know what i might not have got some absolute bangers for two pound fifty but i had a look at me receipt as i was walking back and do you know what very well priced i would say so anyway rambling and i've just realized just how greasy my hair looks today uh true to form so i got myself some of the best crisps you'll ever have, if it focuses. Is that just focusing on my face? There we go. So, uh, Lancashire crisps, Lancashire sauce flavour. Love a bit of Lancashire sauce, especially the crisps. Uh, what other food item did I get? In fact, we'll, we'll come to it when we find it. Uh, one thing that I did get um, off the uh, the lady who served me was some Tiny Rebel, it's focusing on that now isn't it, uh, Tiny Rebel birthday coasters because they had like the, the full range of the birthday beers and you could get like the box of a glass for like 37 quid which isn't too bad but then again it's Tiny Rebel. So uh, which ironically one of the beers I picked up was from Tiny Rebel, part of their eighth birthday. Is it the eighth birthday? No, 11th birthday. It's Cloudwater, who are eight, who are eight years old. Um, she was only eight years old. 
So this is the cookie dough biscuit mix millionaire shortbread, 8% stout, I believe. I hope it's a stout because you know Tiny Rebel, they'll put any flavours together, which fair play to them. Uh, then we got a little bit of Azvex and uh, got myself a can of, it's just not focusing at all now, is it really? I think as I was like playing with the, like how blurry and how focused it was, I think I accidentally pressed on the screen. So it's going to concentrate on my face, which is never a good thing. But yeah, so this is a double IPA, Lava Lava Encryption, brewed with Citra Mosaic and Galaxy. What a combination. Uh, then we've got State of Kind. And this is the Hello Can You Hear Me 7.5% IPA. Uh, does it say what hops are used in this? I'm sure it does somewhere, but I can't find it. Had a lovely um, IPA, or was it a pale ale from those not too long ago? I think I shot a review. Uh, I'm slowly in the process of getting uh, reviews uploaded. Uh, then this is for Adam, and that's a massive, massive dog, um, which is a salted caramel imperial stout brewed in collaboration with Tartarus and Hive Bakehouse. Probably should have got myself a can of that, but I didn't. Um, then we've got Talus um, New England IPA with mango and pink grapefruit. And this is from Hot Purst. Add a few beers from Hot Purst. And uh, I actually don't realise it's actually got mango in it, so that's a slight disappointment. But hey-ho, it is what it is. Oh, another food item that I got from Greenfields. Uh, this is a nice uh, block of smoked Lancashire. Stop focusing on my little brother's face. There you go. Love a bit of Lancashire and I love a bit of smoked cheese. Uh, then we've got a couple of bottles as well. Paulana Munich Dunkel. Yes, sir. They had a nice uh, range of European beers and a couple of Americans, just like, you know, you. What's the one that's like in Hawaii? Can't remember what they're called. And then from Bank Top Brewery, a nice bottle of Dark Mild. Whoa. Got to get the trad in somewhere. So, yeah. Happy with that. Probably could have got a few more beers as well, but I thought it'd be sensible. Um, and I'll be picking up more beers later on tonight as well. So I'm stocked up for a little bit, which doesn't happen often. So yeah, that was my uh, little vlog. Not sure how interesting this is. Don't know how it's going to turn out, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you're in the area um, and you can get to it, definitely check out Windy Arbor. The farm shop in general was really nice. Um, and shock horror, they had a full sort of cachet of eggs and tomatoes so um it's, it's as if the supermarkets aren't willing to pay the money for supplies isn't it hmm. anyway fuck the supermarkets and uh, pay producers fairly and uh yeah so that's it go check out um if you're in the area as i said um i can't remember is it glass and bottle i think is the bottle shop side of things but Windy Arbor, lovely little place in a gorgeous area. And um, yeah, I'll definitely be making that trip again. And I'll probably do it the same way because it's a good way to get exercise, isn't it, really? Anyway, cheers for watching. You all take care. And thank you for joining me on probably the shittest vlog you will ever see. Bye!